And let me give you your official school taught explanation on why there's a high tide over here. The moon's gravity is pulling the water away from the earth, creating a bulge. And at the same time, it's pulling the earth away from the water on the other side, creating another bulge. And the reason that you're scratching your head is because that's a ridiculous statement, but that's what they want you to believe. And my, you know, my theme is you're not stupid. It's stupid. The stuff that they teach you is so stupid, but you believe it because it comes out of a book, right? How do you become a teacher? How, how do you get a, a degree? You memorize and regurgitate everything. You guys have spent 15 years in school, and what are you going to get? You're going to get a piece of paper that qualifies you to what? It qualifies you to take out a loan and go into debt and go to college for four years, right? That's it. You're not prepared for anything else, and you think you live on a ball spinning through an endless space vacuum. Want to add on to that, Angels? Yeah, so there's also things called uh, tidal nodes where there's no tides on the Earth in certain areas, yep. um, which makes no sense. If the sun and moon are pulling physical bodies of water off the Earth, then there shouldn't exist any tidal nodes. Um, just like Dave said, when the sun and moon are on the same side of the Earth, we have a high tide on the other side of the Earth where there's no sun and moon. Now, they tell you that the whole Earth has shifted between the bulges. Well, if that's true, well, we should be able to detect or feel that motion of that shift, but we, we don't. Um, and also, large bodies of water, such as lakes, don't have tides. So any, anything connected to the ocean has tides. Other bodies of water don't. So makes right. no sense.